Hey y'all, it's Kristen from Southern Craft and Shutters, and I am going to give you a little shutter moment. Um, so I was talking to my friend Kimberly earlier this week and I was showing her some of the shutters that I was making and she said, I have no idea how that all goes together. Isn't everything that you make wooden shutters? I always think of wooden shutters. And yes, we do make wooden shutters, but that is not all that we make. So I was inspired to do a little bit of shutter education. So here I have two shutters. Um, that are a similar style. So they have louvers up at the top. So these are louvers. And then they have a raised panel at the bottom. So this one over here is a mahogany shutter. So this is obviously a wood shutter. What's really great about mahogany is that it has a beautiful color though so, um, without having any stain. So this has no stain, it just has a coat. We used it um, as one of our, these are both sample shutters. We used this on our first trade show with shutters. Um, I love the fact that the natural wood is really beautiful and we just put a Sickens coat on, which is like a, a durable outdoor polyurethane um, that coats it and helps it and it gives it a little bit of a shine. So my favorite is unpainted, but we have a lot of people who end up painting mahogany. Another typical shutter wood would be cedar. So, um, but I'm going to show you a couple of differences. So this would be a historical accurate shutter because the louvers are going down. So this is if it was in the open position. So it has back mount. You can see here back mount hardware. So on the back side is where it's uh, mounted. So when it's open, it's this way. And then when it's closed, let me turn it around. Um, the, the louvers go down. So if you think about it, when it rains, you want the water to go down. Um, so shutters Traditionally, a real functioning shutter, the louvers would go down. But a lot of times when people see this, they're like, oh, it looks really weird because we always have our shutters open. So it's not common anymore for people to actually use the fully functional part of the shutter. So what a lot of people will do is have the louvers in what makes sense from the way that we have it open on a regular basis, so it's down. This is a cosmetically, um, a cosmetic way of using the louvers facing down. Now, this is a faux control rod, but in theory, with this, you could open it up and close it. So this would be able to, this is just closed in the opposite of, I guess, real position from a functional standpoint. Um, and this has outside, the hardware is mounted so that you can see it um, when it's open. So a lot of people like to show off the hardware. This is an aluminum shutter, and this we would call a closed louver. As you can see, there's no space here. And this is a control rod. This is our endurance um, model. And so we have this nice bead mold that goes around it and it's powder coated. So it has a really nice um, shine to it. It has a really great finish. And it's also uh, warranted for 20 years for the coat. And this is a raised panel down here. Um, to our knowledge, we're the only people who can manufacture a aluminum raised panel and the benefit of that is that not only the consistent look but also it allows you to powder coat the entire thing giving it long um, long life so those are two samples this is an uh, a partially closed louver so you see this is more open you can see through it so when you look straight you don't see as much but you can see through it compared to this one we well, won't be able to see under it because it's fully closed so that's a little bit about the functional versus cosmetic louver um, positioning, as well as a sample of our mahogany and our endurance, our aluminum um, kind of shutter of a louver top and raised panel bottom. Stay tuned, give you more later.